Well, good afternoon, everybody. Today is the 27th of July, 2023. Now, uh, this is a long and complex uh, issue, but I'll try and simplify it, as it were, and try and make it relatively brief uh, in my comments. I have a very good friend of many years standing, I mean, 30 years or more, I guess, who is a, uh, a Christian, as I'm a Christian, incidentally, I, I accept God and Jesus as the Lord and Saviour and so on but I'm not what you call a fundamentalist Christian in other words I don't believe every word of what's written in the Bible mainly because it, the Bible was uh, taught over a thousand years uh, in, in a, a verbal way and then written down but also because the Bible consists of um, parables, uh, prophecies, and history, uh, but uh, to take it literally is a big mistake in my opinion, but I'd move on, let's say, fast forward to the current day in relation to what is going on at the present time with the congressional hearing into so-called UAP, in other words, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, used to be called UFOs, unidentified flying objects. But anyway, uh, the uh, witnesses under oath and subject to jail terms if they told uh, lies, in other words, in, uh, in their evidence. Now, as I've pointed out to this friend of mine, what if six people said that Joe Bloggs had killed, killed Julie Smith? Well, Joe Bloggs could get life imprisonment, or if he's in the United States, he might get the death penalty, on the basis of the six witnesses. So uh, what we have here are highly qualified, security-cleared people who are telling the truth completely on a subject. And yet, we have people who say, I never believed that. That's just not true. But well, what is needed, I think, in the future is quite simply to have the crashed alien spacecraft and bodies taken out from where they are being stored and then put on public display so that scientists, the media and the general public can have a close-up view of those objects, in other words, and be fully convinced that this is what has happened. I further argue, as it were, or, or, or state, that uh, I believe that there are many, many uh, alien species that are known. In other words, let's say, very typically, the well-known greys, which were uh, basically in, been, uh, seen for quite a number of years, uh, involved in uh, abductions and so forth and I won't go into um, long winded cases and things here but if you look up Betty and Barney Hill was one of the early ones in 1961 but there have been others and there have been sightings of other types of aliens including uh, what are known as tall whites although they're not very common and also uh, the um, ones that look extremely like human beings, so much so that they could probably pass off as human beings. Uh, they're mostly seven foot or so tall and are known for obvious reasons as Nordics because they look like people from that region of the Earth. Well, my uh, case, as it were, on this is that uh, I believe that God has created... you a life throughout the universe. Now, whether you could argue that he also created evolution, in other words, and spread it throughout the universe, that's another matter. It may actually be correct. And, of course, some of my friends, Christian friends in particular, would just poo-hoo all of that and just uh, stand by what it says in Genesis, let's say. Yeah. Uh, but I think the evidence is very, very clear that the universe is much older than many Christians believe and that the earth is not the centre of the universe and it's not 6,000 years old. That what we can see so far is galaxies 13 billion light years from earth and so it took light 13 billion years to pass through our region. 
Uh, it's th therefore a pretty strong argument that that's the case. In other words, that's what it exists. But let's just move on a bit further and say, well, what is coming next anyway? I think more more uh, expert witnesses and people who have been invo involved in particular in uh, what they call crash retrieval and reverse engineering uh, of these craft, and what they should do is bring out actual craft that have been reverse engineered, in other words, earth-made uh, craft that look for all the world like alien craft. Now that would be the ultimate proof of, of uh, the existence of uh, aliens and the interaction they've had with uh, Earth over many, many centuries, indeed some people say many thousands of years. So I thought I'd just add that in as my own thoughts and comment on the subject and I welcome sensible, uh, I mean, civil and polite comment or questions or discussion on the topic. So I'll leave it at that, but uh, I hope that uh, people would like to actually discuss this and uh, are not uh, dogmatic about it to say, well, the Bible is what it, what it says is what it, it happened and that's the end of it and so forth because I don't believe that to be the case. Uh, as much as I get into trouble from some friends uh, for saying that, but that's what I believe is uh, the case. So look, we'll leave it at that and uh, we'll talk to or discuss, shall we say, with, with anyone uh, what their thoughts are on the subject. So thank you for viewing.